I'm Bob. Welcome to our show. This is our very first video. Awesome. Awesome. So, Bob, what are we going to do today? We're going to show you how to make orange stew. And the reason we make orange stew is why, Bob? Because it's Thanksgiving. Duh. Duh. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow, so we're going to make some. <laughs> he has a stuttering trouble. Don't, don't mind him. You just gotta hit them sometimes. We're gonna make some because it's Thanksgiving and we make it every Thanksgiving. Do we need some oh, 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 oranges? <coughs> they love our oranges. We have about 50. There's actually 70. <laughs> seven, seven, three. Bob, I guess, counted them. So mm -hmm. you don't need 50 oranges unless you're gonna feed 500 people because that's how many people come to ours. I almost said store, show. <laughs> no, our house. Our <laughs> feast. <laughs> But we are going to just use one. One big one. One little itty bitty orange. Because that's all we can find. You're going to put that in your bowl. Throw it in the bowl. Bowl. Bob, would you like to show them the next step? The next step is you will need a cup of water. And what you will do with the cup of water is you Let's will. Bring the camera over here, guys. Sorry. Technical difficulties. And you will pour about this much salt be exact into your cup. Let's go this way, dip. We set this up correctly that it'll use all the salt. So just about the well, bottom. While he's of putting it. some salt in that, I'm gonna talk to y'all today about why salt is bad for you. And the salt is up. Salt is good. Alright, next step, Bob. Is you will stir it. Now, you want to use like a, a cereal bowl because it's the perfect size. If you go any smaller, your water will be everywhere. If you go any bigger, you will lose your orange. And no losing orange is allowed. That's a no no. That is not good. So make sure it's about this size, the cup's about this size. And it would also be nice if you could um, color coordinate them like we did. Yep. Because then it makes everybody happy if you're making it in front of people. They're like, oh, wow, she color coordinated. She really knows what she's doing. And when in Let all honesty, there. you have no idea what you're doing. Let it sit there for about 20 seconds. Let it. You know, while you're doing that, too. you smell it. Smells like. It smells normal, right? It smells like salt water. It smells like the ocean. Awesome. Alright, now what you will do is you will take it, like so, you will pour it, make sure your orange is directly in the center of your bowl, and you will pour the water down onto it. That's what you do. Just like that. And then you gotta make sure you get that extra salty goodness, salty goodness all up in there. Alrighty, so, after you put your orange in the water, and you let that sit for probably about a day, you put it in the fridge, you know, do whatever you gotta do, next day, come down, get your orange. Um, so yeah, you're gonna go and you're gonna stir it. We are not gonna put it in our fridge because we are lazy. You don't have to. It is suggested, though, so everything chills and goes together. But, you're gonna stir it with your orange, and I see my orange moving around, yay. Now, next step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some cola. This is Pepsi. We are not sponsored by Pepsi. This is not a sponsored video. We just like Pepsi. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a teaspoonful, like so. You see it on our teaspoon. And you're going to pour it right on top of that orange. It starts to fizz a little bit. And then if you don't think that's enough, you know, go ahead, put a whole thing in. Now, your next step, Bob, French vanilla. Uh, it's not French vanilla, it's just imitation vanilla. Imitation vanilla, yes. You can get that anywhere. All you have to do is pour just the center of the teaspoon. 
And this stuff yeah, is you do not want to use a lot of this stuff because this stuff is crazy. All right, so that's about all you want to use. Not much. I'm gonna pour that right in there. Oh, that smells well. really good. Smell. It's vanilla. Vanilla smells amazing. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna stir it. I just got it all over my pants. <laughs> once you stir ya, uh, orange. He's gonna put some dark brown sugar in. But before he puts the dark brown sugar in, you're gonna wanna go and open up your orange. I'm using <laughs> <laughs> Do not use a plastic spoon, whatever you do. Now I could probably go in and cut it. You're gonna wanna go in there and open it up. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Just so that it everything could seep in. in. You got that opening. There you go. Now you're going to put a little bit of brown sugar in there. And you're going to want to get a, about a spoonful to shove inside the orange. <laughs> so, you're going to get your hands dirty. Your hands are going to get dirty. But, that's alright. So, open up your orange. And our recipe will be in the description. Bob, hold this open? Yeah. Bob's going to hold it open. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this. You're just going to shove it in there. Kind of like if you're stuffing a turkey with Ooh. stuffing. You're going to just stuff your orange with brown sugar. And close that bad boy back up. Let it in there. Stir some more. This is all going to saturate and soak up there. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Now you're going to use some sugar. Just about we'll need a, a cube. A cube of sugar you and you will twinkle. Cube. Twinkle it over. This will sweeten it from all the other non-sweet items. Alright, so I'm gonna stir, flip, stir, flip. You know. What was grandma's other ingredient? Grandma's other ingredient, and this is a secret ingredient. We cannot show you what it is. Actually we have to. It was some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to take like a little bit of cinnamon on your spoon. A little bit of cinnamon on your spoon. And if it gets somewhere else, that's completely fine as well. So your cinnamon is on your spoon. Put that in there. Mix it all around. This is an actual thing. It makes your orange really sweet. Makes it amazing, like a cinnamon sugar. I don't People, know if you ever had cinnamon sugar toast. This is it. It tastes like cinnamon sugar toast. So, what you're gonna do? Now, As you can see, like the cinnamon, it clumps up. That's because of the scientific inquiry of the. Now, what you're gonna do salt. is you want to go in your orange again, and <laughs> all of our brown sugar is a little bit gone. It should be gone in there. That's As a good you can thing. see, there's nothing in there. It should be gone now. All you're going to do is you're going to go in, take a... Break it in half. Soak it in there. Make sure it soaks up all those natural, nice juices. And you're going to put this in the fridge now for a day. So you might want to make this two days in advance, because... <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> so that's in here for a day. Um, We're not going to do that, though, because that is dumb. Out of and we're lazy. Here. Now, you're going to just go in with your spoon. And you could serve this however you like on a tray. We have a tray, I think, unless we lost it. We might have lost it. The dog ate it. Yum. Yummy. You try it out. I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving, great Christmas, great Kwanzaa, great Hanukkah, great whatever you celebrate. And I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you in my next video. We'll be making a video every Spouse. single day this week because it is getting close to December and we're going to make a video every day in December. Whether it's just us saying hi, whether it's us showing you outside, whether it's us showing you Fart Mart because we love wall fart. Have a good day.